45 minutes remain. One of the other teams must have done it. But the rest of us aren't even back yet. Yes, we did, but... Then the team that opened the AB gate must have been the ones who went through the blue door. That would be Luna, Bai, and Dio. There's an explanation for that, I promise. Just tell me, have any of you seen Quark? He's gone. On the other side of the green door, we found a room called the Treatment Center. We found our key cards and left. No, that's look at this map. It looks like there's a pretty big room in the middle there. What is it? A warehouse similar to the one on floor A. In any event, we've spent some time searching. That is, if I will return... I'm going back. Figure I'll take a look at the area Luna and her... Right. I guess there's nothing for it. I'll help look for him. Me too. Right, let's go. Come on, Clover. Right behind you. Looks like a bunch of hazmat suits, probably for protection against viral or chemical agents. Yeah, that's the idea. We should ask Luna's group about them. They investigated this room first. Well, let's have a look then. Closer eye on him. Pretty close. I'll give you that. Have a look over there. Yeah, seems like it. See over here? They've got a box next to them, just like the ones next to the other doors. No, first we look for Quark. All right, let's go. Just you. I'm guessing you haven't found Quark? I ran into Clover and Alice in the warehouse up on floor A. They told me about Quark and how you're all looking for him. So he hasn't come back to the warehouse? Nope. Maybe he just went off to ruminate on a solution to this game. Chewing his cut, so to speak. Well, that's what ruminants do, isn't it? Uh, why would I do that? It sounds so boring. Why the hell would I be worried about some kid I've never even seen before? What? For all I know, he's Zero Senior. He could be hiding in some swank little cubbyhole, swirling a glass of brandy and gloating. Look at all those fools running around. <laughs> That's insane! What, there's no way? Nobody knows what Zero looks like. He could totally be a kid. I warned you, Tenmyoji. 
I told you it was a bad idea to just swallow everything that little bastard told you. I trust Quark. <laughs> Suit yourself. Just don't come crying to me when it bites you in the ass. Sigma. Good. You've got Tenmyo G and Dio with you. We found something. Come on, all of you. Just... you Now come on. The crew quarters. N no. What in the world? Your heart stops. Your bracelet comes off. Clover, I think. When Kay and I ran over, she was just kind of standing there next to the bodies. It was pretty clear they were both dead. I think Clover killed them. Me? Kill them? You got into a fight with Alice after the A-B game, didn't you? It looked like you two knew each other before you ended up here. So maybe you were trying to get her killed. None of us had any connection to her, which means you're the most likely to have a motive for murder. It's easy to see why she would have killed Luna, too. She probably caught you offing Alice, so you did her in too, so she... Well, the A-B game is a motive too. Once someone's dead, they can't vote anymore. That means they'll automatically ally. If your opponent's guaranteed to ally, then that's an easy three points. Me and Dio. Then that would mean Dio had a motive as well. Yep. Alice saw him killing Luna, so he had to shut her up. <laughs> Why the hell would I do something like that? Pay attention next time. You do it to get an advantage in the next round of the AB game. What kind of cold-hearted bastard kills a lady for a few points? I'm more interested in Alice's condition than in her killer's motives. I am as well. Her clothes are barely disturbed. If it weren't for the knife and... uh... blood, she would look as if she was sleeping. Well, maybe she was just killed while she was sleeping? If she wanted to take a nap, why sit on the floor when there's a bed nearby? That is a little strange. But a better question is, would she really be sleeping right now anyway? She was probably put to sleep then. Oh, come on. How did Zero Senior knock all of us out? So you're suggesting that Zero Senior knocked them out with the white gas, then killed them both? Yeah, however it happened, one of the people in this room did it. Well, maybe not one of the people in this room. I forgot about somebody, didn't I? Are you talking about Quark? He disappears and then suddenly there's a murder? I don't know about you, but that seems pretty suspicious to me. Nah, that's crazy. Quark couldn't have done this. All right, then why'd he disappear? There must have been some kind of accident. Then I might have it backwards. If he wasn't the murderer, maybe he was one of the murdered. Well, that would explain his sudden disappearance, right? You son of a bitch. Whoa, whoa, calm down there, big guy. Don't tell me it never crossed your mind. I just said what you were all thinking. Ten minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. All players, please enter your votes. If no vote is recorded before the deadline has passed, any non-voting parties will automatically ally. All right, time to head for the AB rooms, guys. Oh, so you're gonna abstain, huh? That's some good luck for you, Clover. Sigma was paired with Alice. Sadly, it looks like she won't be able to vote during this round. If Sigma abstains, then you'll have no one voting against you. 
Hey, come on, cheer up. This is your chance to escape. Escape? That's right. Right now your BP's at six. Sigma's saying he won't vote, so if you choose betray... Clover would get three points, bringing her to nine. Oh, so you are going to vote? Well, you are, right? How exciting. Sigma should have six BP, just like Clover. That means this next round is a one-on-one -on -one fight. If one of them can trick the other one, they'll have enough BP to get out of here. Can't wait to see who wins. <laughs> oh, this is definitely getting interesting. Right. We should get to the Flore warehouse, guys. Come on. Sigma, we need to talk. How are you planning to vote? Yeah, I thought so. Listen to me, Sigma. Because Luna is... Because Luna's not voting in this round, her vote will default to Ally. Her opponent is Dio and me. That means we're pretty much guaranteed to have 9 BP by the end of this round. Luna's only got 1 BP left, but she's not wearing her bracelet anymore. You saw that, right? That means it won't do anything if her BP goes negative. Well, it's not like it can make her any deader anyway. You have to betray Clover. If you can get to 9 BP, then I'll take you with us. Of course, if you don't come with us, you're gonna be stuck here for the rest of your life. I can't do that. You really think Dio's gonna stick around once he's got enough points to split? You gotta make a choice here. The number nine door is only going to open once. If you pick Ally and Clover does too, then you only have eight points. I promise you Dio's going to make a break for it as soon as he can. If you want to have any chance of getting out, you need those three points. Now. Right. Talk to Clover? I'd have about as much luck talking to a potato right now. The truth is, I want you to come with me. I just... Know that you're important, somehow. No, I haven't talked to him. He's playing against Ten Miyoji. Ten Miyoji's only got one point left. Exactly. One minute remains. It's almost time. Remember what I. You have to. Ten seconds, nine, eight, seven, three, two, one. Round two, Reza. Thank you for your participation. Ambidex. Wait! Dio! What are you doing, Dio? No! He's going to try and open it! Damn right I am. But the result! <laughs> like I need to wait for that. Oh, Dio's BP was at six. His opponent was Luna. Her vote would have defaulted to Ally. All he had to do was pick Betray. And he'd have nine points, right? Excellent answer. I hope you remember to show your work. But Bai was Dio's partner. And her BP was the same as Dio's. That means she has nine now as well. 
Exactly. It was nine the moment we stepped out of the AB room. Why? Why didn't you stop Dio from choosing Betray? You got the wrong idea, old man. This wasn't just my decision. We both decided to vote this way. Is that true? Yeah, I didn't have a choice. You didn't? Because of you, Luna's BP is negative one! So? What, she's gonna die again? Zero can pump all the poison he wants into her. It's not gonna make a difference now. Besides, her bracelet's already fallen off. You... Then why did you try and stop Dio, Fi? I believe I heard you cry out, Wait! Are you planning to wait for the rest of us? Did you just want to get your BP up to 9 to reduce your own risk? Sorry, but no. The only reason I stopped Dio is because I needed to know what someone else voted. Someone else? But that would be... Results from round two of the Ambidex game will now be displayed. Please direct. Points have been... Please check... No, you betrayed me, Sigma. Why? <laughs> to keep your promise, you jerk! You liar! You're a coward! You don't care about anybody but yourself! All you wanted was to get out of here! You're horrible! I hate you! <laughs> so? All that means is that you picked Betray because you didn't want to get left behind! <laughs> Is that it? Is that your excuse? Liar! Liar! You're just like Dio! You're a coward! Whatever. Just fine. I was stupid to trust you. Sorry, I went ahead and opened it. Gonna have plenty of time to watch soaps on the outside, so I didn't feel like I needed to stick around to see how this little drama played out. Dio! Dio! All right, lady and gentlemen, shall we? Why so serious? This really isn't the time for hesitation. You both crossed the line you weren't supposed to cross. You betrayed your friends. Am I right? But you didn't have a choice, did you? Isn't that the way an animal thinks, though? Don't get me wrong. I see the logic, but it's kind of animal logic. Still, you made your bed. Now you got a lie in it. You're gonna be an animal? Be an animal. Own it. The losers, the weak, throw them away. That's how nature works, my friends. You get me? Now come on, hurry up and... The number nine will remain open for nine seconds. Well, stay if you want. No skin off my back. Anyway, I'm out. Peace! Wait! God damn it, Dio! Three, zero. The number nine door is closed. Let's go, Sigma! Shut up! Just do it! The number nine door has closed. This ends. Thank you 
for your participation. Sigma! Spy! Dio! Open up! Open this goddamn door! Alrighty then, here we are. Is that a hallway? Only one way to find out. This must be the prep room. I think I searched this place with Dio and Luna. Hold up. You know about the one on floor B2? Huh. So you know that the pressure in here is a lot higher than the pressure outside? Oh, you didn't. Didn't I just say what I'm talking about? The air inside this facility is kept at a higher pressure than the air outside. Apparently they're doing it to keep the virus from getting in. If you're leaving, you have to lower the pressure until it matches what's outside. This room is where you prepare for all of that. See those suits over on the wall? They keep you from getting infected once you're outside. You have to put one on before you can go into the pressure exchange chamber downstairs. Luna told me. Apparently, it was all in a manual she found in a room we searched. Well... I wouldn't say it's mysterious. I think it's that Radical Six thing Alice was talking about. Don't quote me on that, though. Well, we've come this far. Let's get those suits on and head outside. No argument here. Let's do it. Looks like a desert. I don't know. I can't tell you what day it is, though. Look, the moon's red. See? This must be a total lunar eclipse. During a total lunar eclipse, that doesn't mean it actually reflects light, but this may essentially what's happening. Do you remember when the next total lunar eclipse was going to happen? Looks like it. We should get to the nearest town. There has to be one around somewhere. Even deserts have some towns, whether they're in the Mojave, Sahara, or Gobi. It's not what I'm worried about, though. 
Forget it. Doesn't matter right now. I'm worried about whether or not there are any survivors. If Alice was right about the virus. I hope it's not the case, of course, but there's the possibility. Whatever. We should get moving. There are still four people stuck in there, including Quark. We need to find help and come back for them. Where... Where are we?
two hands, mankind is saved. I am your will made flesh. In your name, I give thanks. I don't care about your goddamn mission. You did this to us. Now we're going to... Shut up! You still haven't answered my question. I'm going to ask you one more time. What is the password for the number zero bomb? God damn it! Didn't I tell you to shut up? Now, tell me. What's the password? Wait! Okay, okay, fine. It's not gonna do you any good, though. I completed my mission. What are you gonna do with a password at this point? Not your problem. Just give it to me. Otherwise... Fine. No skin off my back. The password for the Zero Bomb is LXAQNSGDQ. You heard that, right, Sigma? The password. I'm going to try my best to remember it, but I won't know if I manage to until after I make the jump. There's a chance I won't remember anything. So you need to memorize it, just in case. Got it? Okay, I'm done with you. Let's go. Not sure, but I think he does. Get up. Yeah, well, not really a city, I guess. More like a shelter. Some people who survived the disaster live there. Just shut up and follow me. You can see for yourself. <laughs> 